Here, we are looking at a deep layer wound after defect excision. We will be approximating the deep dermal layer with a quill PDO device. We begin by taking a bite of the designated anchoring tissue in the apex of the excision. Pass the needle through the variable loop and pull in order to tighten the loop and create the fixation point. Then we take at least two loose bites of the tissue to be approximated in a simple continuous fashion. Now the device can be grasped and the tissue can be approximated to the desired tension. This helps anchor the quill device and ensures even distribution of tension. The barbs on the quill device retract flush with the suture during deployment and then anchor into the tissue for secure fixation. We then proceed with the closure of the deep dermis by running the quill device in a simple continuous fashion. Once the apex has been reached, make the appropriate backstitch back toward the midline of the incision. Once the backstitch is complete, the suture is cut flush with the skin. Now that the deep dermis is approximated, we can close the superficial layer with a quill monoderm device. Again, we begin by taking a bite of the designated anchoring tissue in the apex of the incision. Pass the needle through the variable loop and pull in order to tighten the loop and create the fixation point. In a running subcuticular fashion, take equal bites of the tissue in the horizontal plane of the epidural dermal junction. It is important to come directly across the tissue line when deploying the device on the subcuticular layer to ensure good apposition. Once the apex of the incision is reached, simply exit lateral to the incision coming out of the superficial skin and then cut flush.